we can now proceed to question number three and in question number three to come up with a rationalized classification we are given or we are asked to use the range as a measure for classification of variables weight and price and we are asked to create three evenly distributed groups and then perform cross tabulation and discuss the findings so how do we compute or determine range first of all we need to go for analyze descriptive frequencies we will select the two variables weight and then price and we click on statistics button then what we can do we can see the range so we need to mark a check across this because we need to compute or determine range for the two variables now we click continue and then we click paste then again as usual we go to the syntax file we select this syntax and we run the selection over here we can see that we are getting frequencies and over there these values are arranged already in ascending order and if we go for this first table from this first table we can pick the range values easily the range for weight is 0.323 the price is 863 and we also note down the minimum values for weight and for price minimum weight value is 0.12 and minimum for price is 223 so we will now copy these values on this document first let me mark a click across the pen now range value for weight for variable weight is no point two three and the minimum value for this variable weight is no point one two similarly price the range for the price is eight sixty three and the minimum value for price is two twenty three so eight sixty three and two twenty three are the values for range and minimum for price variable now we are going to create three variables for each three categories for each variable and since we have to create three categories for each variable so we take range and then we should divide range value for each variable by three so dividing the range value for weight by 3 we get 0 0.07 something in fact no 0.23 divided by 3 gives you 0 0.076 If you would like to round it off, we need to round it off to 0 0.08, but we don't for a reason. Similarly, 
price for price the range of price should again be divided by 3 and that would give us the answer 863 divided by 3 is 287.67 again if we go for the following the rounding of rule this needs to be rounded up to 287.7 and we need not to go for this or 287 if we need to 288 if we need to round it off to the to first decimal place that we need not to instead we take this value as 0 0.07 and we take this value as 287. Now we are going to start creating categories for each variable. We go for weight first. We can start with the minimum value. Minimum value for weight is 0 0.2, 0 0.12. What we do, this is the minimum. We add range divided by 3 answer to this value. This is how we get no 0.19 as the end value or the maximum value for the first group. Now the second group, this is group 1. Now the sec second group we should start from 0 0.20. That's the next value, neighborhood value, 2.19. We add the same 0 0.07 to it and we get 0 0.27 as the answer. The maximum value for the next group. So first group starts at this, ends at this. Second group starts at this, ends at this. Now, 0 0.28 plus 0 0.07 would give you 0 0.35 and now we can match the maximum value at which, which we are ending the third group should be compared with the result for the maximum value from the table so you can now see 0.35 is the maximum value that we have tallied already in this table. Similarly, we can now go for the creation of from way from price to price group. This was the weight to weight group. Now first group, to start with the first group, we need to consider the minimum price. Minimum value for the price is 223. We need to add this 287. That would give us 510 as the end value for the first group. Starting value for the second group should be 511. Again, we add the same value of 2 at 87 to it. We get 8, 9, and 7. So 798 is the value at which the second group is ending. Now the third group will start from 799. Then we again add 287 and 1086 is the answer that we must be getting or at which the third group must be ending. So match again with the maximum value what we got for the price was 1086 same. So this is how we can Create three groups for weight and three groups for price.
now we will now create again the two new groups following the same way transform we put into different variables we reset it first we select weight and we need not now to give new name to the variable and what I am giving the new name as to this newly created variable WTGRP and here we can type complete description for the variable weight group click change immediately after clicking change the weight will be transformed to WTGRP now we'll enter old and new values in the same way as we have done before we start with the range lowest through value we again let the software to enter or to deal with the least value given in the data on its own we just enter the upper bound value of no point one nine for the first group so zero point one nine again the value is one then we click add if we notice for the second group we are given the starting value as well as the ending value the starting value is no point two whereas the ending value is no point two seven so we enter it accordingly and this time we need to choose range option where we have a starting box as well and we enter over here 0 0.20 and here we will enter as 0 0.27 and the new value should be 2 now to introduce or enter the C group or create the third group we need to now enter the starting value only highest value the software will pick on its own and the starting value for the third group is no 0.28 and the new value is 3 for this third category we click add continue paste again we can check the description of variables their values as well we run selection we can now move to the output and if we check in the data file this new variable with three categories for the weight group has been created now we need to enter the values accordingly value 1 is representing cheaper value 2 is representing moderate as per the description given in the word file and this will represent heavy this is how we do it if we go and check the descriptions are there now we need to create in the same way three categories for the second variable price again we need to reset this we now select weight again and p r c g r p must be the name to the group the price and group must be the name should that should be given to the new group label and we click change we click old and new values again we start with the minimum minimum software will pick on its own what we need to do the end limit of the first group is 510 this is how we need to enter this value 510 and this is the value 1 we click add then we go for range option because for the for creating second group we need to start uh, enter both starting and ending values so 511 
and the L limit is 798 for the second group. 798 we coded as 2. Add now go to the third third different third group creation and we need to enter now 798 as a start 799 as the starting value for this group software will pick highest on its own we just enter 3 as a new value and this is how we create and this is continue we click on again paste we go to the syntax we can check again the decimal places if we have entered it correctly then we click run selection and this is how we are successful to create again price group with three categories and the description for each category of this newly created variable is one is representing cheaper two will represent nominal and three will represent expensive I need to make a correction in weight group and uh, fortunately we will learn in this way if we have made an error we can make a correction so you can now see we can remove the variable that we have selected and we need to enter the new description as light because by mistake I entered cheaper here so we can make the changes in the data description as well and this error I made deliberately so that I will get an opportunity later on to make a correction now this is like moderate heavy quite reasonable in terms of the name we assign to categories here as well, cheaper, 1 to cheaper, 2 to nominal, and 3 to expensive. You can now see this is again created. Now we can go for cross tabulation, reset. Weight group should be taken as a row variable, price group should be taken as a column variable. We can now click paste. Then run selection and then this is how we get the result and you can now see the classification is very much rationalized this time because all the cheaper price all the lightweight diamonds are classified as cheaper in price majority of moderate weight diamonds 11 diamonds that are moderate weight are classified as nominal only two are classified as cheaper that's quite reasonable or okay and uh, all the heavy weight diamonds are classified as expensive so we can consider this table as the table where the classification of the two variables or all the categories of the two variables are rationalized not like this one this one okay so this is how we can do it